So to be makabel all malchus shemayin shleimo, you have to put on tefillin and daven with them. You see from here, there's a chiyev to wear tefillin during Shimon Esri. Ulo says the reason why you have to wear tefillin by kriya shema midin edus. You should not say edus shaker on yourself. But this time is not shaykh for Shimon Esri. So why is Rabbi Yochanan says? that you have to wear tefillin by Shimon Esri. And that is called Kabbalah's all Malchus Shumayim Shleimo. So according to Ula, the reason is for Eidus. According to Rabbi Yochanan Mishum, Kabbalah's all Malchus Shumayim Shleimo. Two separate reasons. And Rav's meaning was, according to Yerushalmi, to put tefillin after Kiriya Shema, before Shimon Esri, midin all Malchus Shumayim Shleimo. Is mashma that the Kriya Shema is only a chono to Shimon Esri, but the Iker Hanochus tefillin is during Shimon Esri. Shuchanoruch Simen, Chov Heisib Dalet, Tzorich Sheyiyu Tfilin Olav Bishas Krishma Use Filo And he repeats it in Simen Lamed Zayn Sivayis Mitzvosan Lihiyoisom Olav Kol Hayoyim Avol Ipnei Shetzirichim Gufno Kishlo Yafiyach Bohem Veshelo Yasiyach Daito Mehem Veein Kol Odom Yochol Izoir Bohem Nohogu Shelo Lanichum Kol Hayoyim Umikol Mokoyim Tzorich Kolodim Lizoir Bohem Liyoison Olav Bishas Krishma Use Filo You see clearly two places that Shmone Esre needs Tvilin. Hanochas Tvilin between Geulo le Tvilo. Meshuchonor Simen Samervov Sivches. If Beshaz at Chak, somebody did not have Tvilin and he has to put on Tvilin between Goal Israel and Shmone Esre, Tales he cannot put on because it's a hefsek, even without a brocho. Tvilin he must put on. There's a machloik as if he can even make a brocho. So you see from here that Shmone Esre needs Tvilin. Tfilin. This is the lotion from the tour. Simen Samechvov. Choisem Boruchatu Hashem Go Al Yisrael. U Maschil Eispalel Miyat Velo Yafsik Rakim Ira Oynes Shelo Hiniach Tfilin Koyim Kriyashma Ben Izdam In Lom Ben Taim Lehon Nichon Yochol Hafsik Levorech U Lehon Nichon Kedei She Yispalel Bis Tfilin. So the tour is mate to make a brocho and put on tefillin before Shmon Esre, after Goal Yisrael. And the Beis Yosef brings down, Rav, Moshe Yode, Bekorok Rishma, Beonach tefillin, Betzoli, Vehechi Ovit Hochi. And the Gemara says, Shluchu hu de Avis, the Shliach, the Gabai, brought the tefillin late. The Shliach was mekalken, he brought the tefillin after Kriyashma. And since the Zman Kriyashma came, he damned Kriyashma without tefillin, because he shouldn't be over on Zman Kriyashma. When the Shliach came with the Tfilin, then he put on Tfilin. Toysves brings down that from here is a raya, that you're allowed to put Tfilin between Geulo and Tfilo. And the Motre also brings down this. And the same thing is with the Talis. A person is allowed to put in a Talis between Geulo and Tfilo. And Rabbi Yitzchok and Rabbi Yehudo, the Rebbe of Rashi, he didn't have a Talis ready for davening. So he lay in Kriyashma without a Talis. And he sent for a talis before Shmon Esre, he put on the talis, and then he davened. And he brought a rai from the Rav. But there is a chili between tefillin and talis. Because the Iker Kriyashma and Tfilo is shaykh with tefillin. Because may they the sheker and Shmon Esre, Kabbalah's all Malchus Shmaim Shleimo. But Tzitzis, it's not a choiv talis. If somebody doesn't have a talis, but Dalit Khan for the spot of Tzitzis. And he can learn Kriyashma with that Tzitzis. So if that's the case, could be as a hefzik between Kual Yisroel and Shimon Esri by putting on titsis. And Rav Moshe Mikutsi wants to say even for tefillin is no raya. It could be like that you're allowed to put on tefillin without a brocha. And after Shimon Esri you say a brocha. So Toysis Shita is that you're allowed to make a brocha. And the Sar Mikutsi is you shouldn't make a brocha. Rabbi Neyoyno, the Rosh and the Rashba passing like Toysis, you're allowed to make a brocha. And the Sar Mikutsi is Machmir. From the Torah's Mashman, not like the Sarmi Kutsi, that you are allowed to make a brocha like Toysves by Tvilin, but not by Talis. But to put on the Talis without a brocha's Mashman, that you are allowed to. But that's only before he came to the brocha of Goal Yisrael. But once he made the brocha of Goal Yisrael, he has to be Masmech Ule the Tvil, and should not be Mavsik even with Hanochas Talis. Even with, without a brocha. Aloha, Ms. Yosef says that we should be Mahmi like the Sarmi Kutsi. So if he didn't end the brocha yet, go Al Yisrael. You can put on tefillin tzitzis without a brocha. And after davening, we mash mesh bohem and make a brocha. And if he did end the brocha, go al Yisrael, then we have to be mechalik. Tefillin he can put on without a brocha, and tzitzis he should not put at all. The Rosh brings down tshuva klal dalet, that if somebody has a choyle me'ayin, and he cannot hold himself from hafocho, and he won't be able to learn kriyashma and tefillin together with tefillin, what should he do? So he should put on tefillin between ahavo and kriyashma, and he make a brocha, because that's considered a oiness, and the Shulchanor passed like that in Simon Pei. Tfilin by Tfilas Mincho. Why is it that only by Tfilas Shachris 
that we were tefillin by Shimon Esri, and not by the Shimon Esri of Mincho. Ve'emiz and Be'yur Alocho, and Simon Lamed Zayin, the Ve'amaschel Bishas Kriyashma, he brings down that the Ramami Pano, Rabbi Menachem Azario, Zichron Elevrocho, he was mesaken to wear tefillin second time by Mincho, k'day to be mispalel, Amido with tefillin just like Shachris. He says because Amido needs tefillin. Rosh Chodesh with tefillin. In Shuchnor Simen Tov Chov Dalet Siv Dalet. The meaning is to take off the tefillin before Musaf. And this meaning has no mekor in Shas. Chazal say, Dorash Rab Yosi Haglili. Veshomartus hachuko azos lemoyado ben yomim yomimo. Mi yomim velo kol yomim. Prat lishabosos ve yomim toivim she'ein tzorich tefillin. Nesomi ben darshan veshomartu is a iser. Kumu alaf. Rabbi Kiva Oimer, lo nemar chuko hazois, elo leidnian korban Pesach bilvat. So har as you know, yom tov is potif and tefillin. He darshans ve hoyo le ois, prat le shabos of yomim toivim, shehem atzmon ois, ve ain't zrich an ois tefillin. In Yerushalmi is moisef, even cholamoyed you cannot wear tefillin. But there is no place that says that you're supposed to take off your tefillin before Musaf. It's a minhok. And the Mishibriot says, But Rosh Chodesh is a little bit like Yontov. We fret by Musaf, you must kill the Musafe Hayoim. And that's Chiro is like a shtikl ois. The Primagod brings down that you should be choilet the tefillin Rosh Chodesh by Uvolet Zion before you say Yehirotzon Shenishmur Chukecho. Because that's a brocho before Chalitza's tefillin. So I'm annoyed just to take off the retzuos from the tzvos. But Mikir Adin, there's no issue to wear tefillin by Musaf. What's with Minchor Rosh Chodesh? Is in Shalish and Shuv, Ramami Panu, Simon Kufches brings down. Even though in Rosh Chodesh, the meaning is not worth feeling by Musaf because it's like Me'en Yontav. But after Musaf, you are allowed to put on again feeling by Mincho. Or let's say somebody wants to work feeling the whole day. And the Chido in Sefer Machzik Brocho brings down that Al Minhogei Al Piarizal are Noihek to Davin. With tefillin, mincho, even in Rosh Chodesh. Tefillah with tefillin or tefillah with tzibur. If somebody has a choice to daven Shemone Esre without tefillin with tzibur, because he doesn't have tefillin right now, and if he'll wait for the tefillin, he'll have to daven b'yichidus. The Morgan Avrom, in Simas HaMechvov, Siv Koton Yud Beis, tefillin is choshuf more than tefillah with tzibur. Shittas Morgan Avrom is, it's better to daven with tefillin Shemone Esre than with tzibur without tefillin. If somebody is an oines, he doesn't have a minion for mincho. Is there an Indian to put on tefillin and daven b'yichidus with tefillin? Is the Chor according to this Morgan Avrom? Tefillah with tefillin is cheshever and Tfilo Betzibur, definitely. And that was the meaning from the Briskerov. When he davened Be'echidus, he used to put on Tfilin by Mincho. Madach Shachris. Tfilo Betzibur is bigger than Tfilo Betzibur. Allah has come over come Mincho with Tfilin is bigger than Tfilin Betzibur. If somebody by mistake forgot to say Yale Biyovo Shachris, Rosh Chodesh, he wasn't Yoyte Yedei Choyvas Tfilo, but he remembered after he had already taken off his tefillin. He has to damn Shem again. Is it mechuyif to put on tefillin or not? So they say, is a machloik is rishoinim. If somebody forgot to say, ya'ale b'yovoi, is it considered like he did not daven at all? Or we say that it is considered davening b'miktas, but it's missing the ya'ale b'yovoi. The shittas chachme provincia is that missing ya'ale b'yovoi is considered like he did not daven at all. And that is the shittas ho'eshkol. And Toysus in Brochus Davchov of Medveis brings it down. According to this Shittas, he has to put again Tfilin. Because without Yalevi Yovo, he's like he didn't daven at all. And Shashin Shuvah Zichav Das, Chelek Vov, Shuvah Vov, has a Rikos about it. How about Ma'ariv with Tfilin? If somebody is davening Ma'ariv, mi be'oit yoim. The Gemara says that Rav Chizdo, the Chosid of Bovel, and also Rabbi Barav Huno, brought down Misech the Menochus of Lamed Vov Medveis, they used to daven Ma'ariv, mi be'oit yoim, with Tfilin. And also, like the man the Omar, Laila's man tefillin, there's no shayla that you could have in Mariv with tefillin. The Bekiva's shita is, Laila zman tefillin. There's an Eich Timtze that a person has to put on tefillin on Shabbos. He forgot when Shabbos is. All seven days, even on Shabbos, is mechui if you wear tefillin. Agamor in Shabbos, that's a mechites on the base. Ochonor, simen, shimem, dalitzef, alef, ubebir aloch. Can somebody dive in Shabbos with tefillin? Agamor says in Shabbos, that's a mechites on the base, that there's one shita who holds, Shabbos is man tefillin. Who's that? Rabbi Meir. There was one Tane that was Nifter on Shabbos, Mukhtar Betfilin. Who was that? Rabbi Eliezer ben Hurkunus. Rabbi Eliezer Hagodol.